I'm on my way to Lake Ann Trailhead, or South Fork, or whatever it is. But heading to Lake Ann. I'm gonna try and do the pass today. But another note, hip belt's not working anymore, and I got shoulder pain again. So this might be it for the bag and my trip. Cause I know what bag I want to buy next, but I have to buy it online, ship it, and it just takes too much time for when I need to be home. So I just end up ending early, which is okay. It is what it is. I'm going to do what I can, see if I can fix this, but it's not looking good today. Well, I mean, it's looking good out here, just shoulders. Approaching Lake Ann and Lake Ann Pass. Finally made it to Lake Ann and put some views behind me. And I gotta go back there. Hiking up Lake Ann Pass and the ptarmigan right here. goes up there and no matter where you try to go around this it's vertical like you could climb up on the grass and stuff over there but there's still a good chance you'll slip and fall at least this way I've got spikes and should be able to make it up there. the other problem is uh, the snow's coming over which means you gotta claw through it's almost what would cause an avalanche generally speaking at least if I slip and fall there, should be softer. Versus over there, it's on rocks and it hurt. I've already fallen and hit my ankle on some of these rocks and it hurt. So far, I've made it almost there. I had to kick in spots and follow a mountain goat's trail to get up here. Whew, that's some sketchy shit. Yeah, and now there is no path but me. I'm the leader. Am I supposed to get up that? That was by far the sketchiest shit I've ever done. Forgot to do a recording in a while, so came down from Lake Ann Pass. But past Texas Creek Trailhead, and that's kind of where I'm heading is down the trail there towards Cottonwood Pass. And this is kind of the view I've been treated with. Plenty of just a valley, a bit of water, it's a bit high, but yeah, whatever. I'm worried I'm gonna run into a moose more than anything. I've seen dropping. So this is moose country, so but beautiful view. Made it to the top of Cottonwood Pass just before the sun went down. Probably like four, four and a half miles. There's a over the picnic area over here that I was gonna go see if I can watch the sunset. Sounds like there's other people there. And then I gotta figure out where to camp. Yesterday I did it, and today I did it. I followed the wrong trail and went off the trail's way up there. And instead of doubling back, I'm just whacking through. So I gotta whack from here, probably two, three hundred yards. Slowly making my way up this hill to get out of here. It's going that way, but up 
this area looks kind of ominous looking. It reminds me of like Lord of the Rings or something. You gotta walk through this area and there's just all boulders and stuff. Like there's someone waiting behind to get you. So, leaving this here. Made it to the top of the next pass. Not sure what it's called, but. It's way down there. Now I'm up here. snowfield that yeah no one really fully navigated but now going down what looks like either an old logging road or train uh you know whatever i think train because i saw it looked like railroad ties but I'm not sure if this is where there's a tunnel but whatever find out So I'm camping at the Alpine uh, Tunnel Trailhead. Uh, pretty much the camp spot. The problem is it's very rocky. So the first time I'm having to pitch my tent with literally like rocks, like holding it down on the corner. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'm not woke up in the middle of the night just in class. Whatever. down to Boss Lake and there's these cool cabins. Plus there was an old pickup there, like a 20s pickup. That's target practice now for people. More old buildings. You could definitely take shelter in that one. But structural con integrity is the concern. Whew. It's a grouse right here. Jumped out and scared the shit out of me. given up now but you can see some that way and so yeah it's just blowing me around like hell I'm trying to I'm trying to get this poncho on was ridiculous I took my hat yeah so I'm just gonna let this pass real quick and get back on it on top of one arc pass almost there anyway so just leaving the Monarch Crest store now. Cool store. It's really geared for hikers. So I didn't think this was a real character. I only saw it in South Park called Woodsy Owl, but apparently it's a real thing. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Freaking awesome. Alright. Back to hiking.